All right, I'm back. So I'm going to finish this up, and then I think I'm going to call it a day for the stream. But I will be back tomorrow. Um, for the entire month of February, I will be streaming on Sundays and Mondays.
this up too.
I'm pretty happy with that. It's pretty good. 1,200 words. Wow. I'm actually rather happy with that output. Um, so I'm just going to talk about a couple things to do with this real quick. And then I'm going to go for the day. Uh, just to A, eat up some time, and B, because I made some conclusions when I was was doing these exercises. Uh, I think, um, and this is something I've been talking about with uh, some of my friends in real life and all that, uh, about writing. But I consider myself to be someone who's better at scripting than prose. I just, I fit that mindset better. I spent more time doing it, I guess. I don't know if that's entirely true. But it feels like it. Um, you'll notice that a lot of the stuff that I've completed on stream have been scripts. You know, I've, I've done two comic scripts. I've done a short film. Um, to a certain extent, a game script. That was more of a prototype. Whether it's finished or not, who knows, but it was kind of there. Uh, that being Zix, not... Uh, uh, what was that one? The other one I did that I can't remember the name of, <laughs> which is really sad. Uh, yeah. So I, I consider myself to be better at scripting. So the one thing I've noticed is that I have no, when I'm writing my own prose projects, it takes me a long time to get little bits done. And I don't know if that's because I know I have a plan and I know what direction I'm going in, or if it's because I'm just not good at doing sequential. But what I'm finding right now is that it makes a lot more sense for me to sort of lay out the pieces, lay out my breadcrumbs, and then start fleshing it out. Um, that kind of process is very similar to what I do when I'm scripting, right? Where, you know, I kind of figure out Oh, I think, I think this will be about four panels or this action will be one, one or two panels and then this will be one or two and then I kind of figure it out, right? When I put out this dialogue, like the dialogue kind of came bit by bit, but when I wanted to get into the actual story, story parts, it, it was like this. Like I, I, I could kind of just do it. Um, and feel free to weigh in on, on what I'm thinking here, but... I've noticed that a lot of the exercises I do, I have no problem like throwing down a thousand words, whatever. Uh, whereas in my own personal projects, a thousand words can take a lot longer to do. Uh, if you ever heard me talk about my short story dinner, I mean, I've been working on that thing since last February. Uh, done 23 drafts of it. <laughs> And it's still not done. It's still not close to done. I have to rewrite most of it still. Um, and maybe that's just the nature of that story and the, and the conclusions I had to come to from an author's perspective to, to get that done. But it is a long, long time. Um, and I mean, that's not the only thing I've worked on since last February or anything like that. I, I have worked on some other things here and there. <laughs> so it's not like that's my entire creative output for the year was was this unfinished piece or something like that uh, and, and and also to be fair that is the first real short story I've ever worked on I've done a lot of like flash fiction stuff like a thousand word pieces or, or short pieces and prompts for like creative writing classes and like things like that but I've never really done something that's like this is a solid short story uh, I've done short films, of course, and, and stuff like that. Um, so there's there's definitely that element to it. Where uh, like in a lot of ways, this was me learning how to write a short story in the first place, because I've never really done it before. So that's a, a another part of the whole process of it, right? Um, so yeah, I don't know. I am thinking that I. Uh, one of the things that's helped me a lot is uh, the TK method. I posted a few 
I'm not sure which episode. I posted on one of the episodes uh, where I was talking about it. I'll repost it uh, on this episode, I think. Uh, but there was a, an article I read not too long ago about uh, this thing called TK. Well, it was in, it was in a, a drafting uh, blog about writing. And there's this thing called TK, and what it means is it, it's kind of like a shorthand that uh, reporters use when they need to fact check something. So instead of spending time fact checking or spending time thinking, you just put TK and you move on. Uh, like a capital T, capital K. Because uh, I'm pretty sure there's no word in the English language that actually uses those together in that order. Um, so yeah, it, it'll always stand out. So when you're getting to, like when you're working on uh, edits and all that you can be like oh hey like I need to fill in this section I need to fill in this section and just keep drafting as you go um, that sort of thing and, and that's really helped my mindset of like just putting words on the page and and it's interesting to me because in a lot of ways this that process is exactly what I'm talking about right now where I'm saying like it's like filling in those Filling in what you know and then coming back to what you don't know. So, you know, having your characters have a conversation about conflict and all that stuff and, and to like just fill in those words and then you can you can add the actions and all the thoughts and emotions around them afterwards. Um, and I'm definitely thinking that I need to go back. There's a couple of spots in, in dinner that really feel like talking heads to me. Or uh, one of my friends described it as sock puppets, which is a, a great analogy for what that is. Where, you know, I have some talking sock puppets just like melting off at each other. And uh, maybe what I should do is I should sit down and be like, let's just write the dialogue for that scene. Like, what are they saying? And then take that and merge it with my previous draft and be like, okay, so what are they saying? How can I give them more character? And then add in all the, the science-y details that come with that. Um, so that's a thought I had. As well as, I think what I wanna do is I wanna take a look at some more processes. Some more of other people's processes. Uh, the interesting thing about being a writer is that there's no right answer. There's no one thing that you can do that really puts it all together. You know, um, everyone does it differently. But, so what I'm saying is, is you, it, it doesn't really work to copy other people's processes. But you can use other people's processes to inform your own process. You can pick up little bits here and there like I picked up that TK thing and I can pick up this other thing and they'll just help you build your whole idea of how you work on a project um, and, and I think processes need to be reevaluated re on a fairly regular basis at least once a year uh, probably more than that you don't want to spend a ton of time like thinking about how to write rather than just writing but you should be you like look at ways that you can improve your process you can streamline your process so that it's easier for you to do what you want to do um, I guess what I mean by that is that it's easy to get caught up in a way that you think works when there might be an easier way to do that but you don't want to get so caught up thinking about that easier way that you don't just do the way that actually works whether it's harder or not <laughs> Um, so yeah, I guess writing's always been kind of that conundrum of you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, as it were. So yeah, um, those are my thoughts for today. Uh, it's about 2.30. Yeah, I, I think that, that's about it for me. I will be back tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time doing more streaming. Uh, I suspect I'll be doing more dialogue exercises because I definitely think that's something I need to improve on. Um, so there's certainly that. 
Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I have anything else. I'm pretty happy with the way this has went. Um, I do wish that it was not so prompty and that I could edit this into an actual piece that I could use somewhere. But, you know, them's the breaks. Not every piece of writing you do has to be published worthy. And that's something I've been learning a lot from my artist friends of, you know, uh, John the Studio said the other day that uh, he doesn't trust an artist who doesn't doodle. Uh, and, and a bunch of people talking about how, you know, you're going to have bad drawings. If you don't have bad drawings, you're never going to make good drawings. So I think in a lot of ways, writers need to get out of this. And maybe this is just me, and maybe I'm, I'm, I'm doing writers a disservice by, uh, by lumping them in with my thought process here, but you need to get out of that mindset of everything you do has to be publishable. Everything you do has to be the next, the greatest thing you've ever written. I think you've got to do a lot of bad writing in order to get to the stuff that's really good. Um, and that's not to say just like your first draft will be bad, but you know, like I shouldn't, I like, there's no reason for me to do anything with this. There's no reason for me to really, uh, like rework, uh, certain things that I've written on stream as cool as ideas they are. And, and we come up with lots of cool ideas. I think, you know, you got you gotta do all that stuff in order to to get to the stuff that really matters. I guess is a, is a good way of putting it. Um, so yeah, as always, uh, you can check me out on Twitter or on my website directly over there. I got the points right today. Yeah, learning. Uh, where you can find vods and. Uh, ask me questions and have my contact info uh, as well as there's always additional episode resources for uh, each episode like articles I looked at I'm going to be posting the blog for uh, Holly Lil Lizzle I don't know I can't pronounce it uh, her blog posts that I used to do this exercise as well as some other stuff I was looking at uh, and that TK thing I'll repost that um, so yeah uh, Without further ado, uh, my name is Brendan. This is Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one, guys.